Blessings, brothers and sisters. This is your brother, Rocco L. Bian. And I wanted to just uh, tell you something. <laughs> I wish I, I, I had copied it, you know, like, you know, when you're ch chatting on WhatsApp and all these messengers that you can use today. So I kind of met this uh, Chinese lady, you know, uh, online, you know, wanted to chat a bit, you know, she maybe thought I look cute or something, you know. So I started chatting with her a little bit, you know, all politely, first asking like, you know, how old are you, what you work with, you know, what you're doing. Then throughout it all, I said, well, I'm not really working right now. I'm, I got a YouTube channel, I'm serving the Lord, you know, uh, do things like that. And then she said first, oh, really, and all that. Then she started talking more about God, like, you know, uh, tell me more, I want to know. I said, what, you, what would you like to know? So she asked me like, you know, uh, what do I believe in God and who is he and is he a he or is he a she? I said, no, he's a he, you know, made in his image, are we? You know, he made Adam first, then took from the rib of Adam when he put him to sleep. He made uh, Eve, right? Which we know is biblical. And uh, thus, you know, unfortunately, the female uh, sinned first and gave to Adam to eat as well, you know, of the forbidden fruit. Um, and Adam loved Eve so much that he uh, didn't want uh, Eve to perish or not live any longer because, you know, the punishment was death. So he loved Eve so much that he took upon himself also to eat. That's, that's what I believe, you know. Man loves his woman so much sometimes that he gets blinded that he doesn't want to lose her. So there you go. So... Um, Anyway, this girl, this Chinese girl was starting to get a bit fresh, you know, a bit nasty. So asking me all these questions. And as soon as I started talking about Adam and Eve and, you know, God, you know, is a male, you know, image, not, not a female and things like that. Then she came out with something strange like, did, did God uh, also have sex with uh, Eve? What? I said, what? <laughs> I said, that's blasphemy. What are you talking about? The disgusting, you know, get behind me, Satan, you know, sort of thing. And she kept on going on and on and on anyway, just to make a short story. Then through, through the chat, you know, through this WhatsApp chat or whatever, these messenger chats. So there was a girl, you know, she was just probably interested in me or she was just whatever. I don't know what it was, but, you know, she came on to me and said she's Chinese. So she asked me a lot of normal questions first, sent me some pictures of herself very pretty thing, you know, they, you know, how they look like dolls, all these Chinese girls, you know. But then all of a sudden, she started saying something like this in the end. She, when I was going on about God and my YouTube channel and things like that, she said, I'll give you a hundred thousand, listen to this, brothers and sisters, look at this. I'll give, this is true, that's why I had to tell you this. I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars. I said, what for? If you renounce your God, I am not joking with you. What the hell is that? Somebody tells me from China, a girl, a pretty thing, you know, looking like a doll. You know how these Chinese are very pretty and they look doll-like, almost like robotic or something. But I mean, you know, I don't think she was robot, robot, but I mean, you know, they look like very robotic. I don't want to share her picture, but you can trust me that she was very pretty, very model-like, uh, very sweet looking in her 30, 32 years old or something. So she says to me, I'll give you $100,000 if you renounce God, if you renounce your faith, if you... Uh, you know, don't believe in God anymore. And with that, because you say you're a poor man, and she's not poor, she's got her own business selling luxury handbags, you know, in China. So I said, oh, well, good for you. You know, you people there are very business minded in China, obviously, but you know, you should not love money. You should not just love your success. You should love God, you know, first uh, than anything else. Amen, right? That's our faith, right? God also put in his commandments you know, to love him and nothing more than him. Put him first, right? Amen. So she she said, oh, 100, I said, you give, give me $100,000 to renounce God? That's that's terrible to say that. You know, that's very sinful. Who sent you? Satan or something? What's wrong with you? And then she started getting very bitchy and started saying bad things, you know, like nasty things. Like, you're, you, you know, okay, then stay poor. You can be like dog and eat his, uh, uh, you know, his whatever the dog does behind him. You know, you can eat that. And I said, look, you know, I started getting nasty too. Then I said to her, well, you know, you may be a red dragon or something. You can eat your fire excrements, you know, coming out of your backside in that case. You know, I know I'm Christian. I shouldn't like 
backfire on other people, but I'm sorry. And then when she started saying things like, uh, did God uh, also, like a man, sleep with a woman, then, then I'm sorry. I have totally lose my respect for any human on earth that will uh, blaspheme our Father in heaven or Jesus Christ, which is our Father in heaven, you know, come in the flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. I will not allow, as a human, I'm not totally holy, am I? I'm just a man. Uh, I don't allow anybody to say nasty things about our Father in heaven, our our Jesus Christ like that. I mean, it's just, I can't hold myself. So I started calling her some few names, you know. <laughs> so listen to this. Then she says to me, oh, 100,000 not enough? All right, I up the odds. I said, what do you mean? I said, I'll give you a million dollars. You heard correctly. I'll give you a million dollars if you if you renounce God. I said, are you insane in the brain or something are you normal or something yes but i have so much money she says i said uh, that i can afford it i said but why would you do that first of all no no it ain't happening no way that i'm going to for any money on the on, on earth renounce my faith on or my god because i will go to hell for that and you will go to hell just offering me that money because god is listening and as a one i said why would you give me a million dollars to renounce god because i can because I want to see if you will leave God, you know, if I give you a million dollars. I ask you, I'll offer it to you one more time. Give me your bank account details. So I said, oh, you're probably a scammer, right? You want to you wanna take my bank account details because you want to scam me. No, 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 I don't scam you. you can, I can even send it to you through Western Union, you know, money transfer, Western Union. I said, look, you can transfer that money and put it somewhere where the sun don't shine. You know, I'm sorry, I'm not leaving my God, my faith, for any money on the earth. Look, I'll give you one last chance, she say. I'll give you a million dollars if you leave God. I said, why would, why would you do that? Are you some kind of a Satan or a child of Satan or something? What is it that you're saying to me? I've never been offered money to leave my faith. Who are you? What are you? Why have you come into my chat? You know, oh, but you had a, you posted your picture somewhere on a dating site. I said, that was a long time ago. Okay, so you found me there. All right. Uh, so w how can I help you? You want a relationship or something? She said, yeah, at first she was all like that, but she was mostly showing off her bank and her, and her business. She makes expensive handbags or sells them in China or something. And when as soon as they start, you know, looking down upon us, you know, like, what do you work with? Oh, just now I'm unemployed. I have my own YouTube channel. I do things like this and that. Oh, let me see one of them. All right. So I show her one of the prophetic messages, you know, one of the Rahmas. And, um, and she's saying to me, oh, how do you hear from God? You know, and uh, how do you know it's God? And uh, who wrote the Bible? I said, well, the servants of God, you know, uh, how do they hear the God's voice? Yeah, through the Holy Spirit, right? They, hear, they heard the voice of God through the Holy Spirit in their spirit, in their hearts, in their, uh, in their dreams, or maybe even an audible voice if they are that holy, which most of us are not, you know, not even I, you know, amen, you know, who am I? Nothing, right? Uh, I don't know who, who I am sometimes, but I mean, I do my best, right? And I'm not perfect, obviously. So, and it shows, you know, because I'm not soft and kind, you know, when I hear somebody blaspheme our father in heaven, you know, I get, I get, I can get bitchy too, you know, and say bad things, excuse me, but you know, I, I'm defensive uh, to our father in heaven. So I don't like uh, somebody say to me that God or Jesus uh, question, has he had sex with uh, Magdalene or, 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 you know, like Jesus, you know, I have a few people like that that's asked me these questions in the last one year. If Jesus had sex with, with a woman, and I bet he's a man, and he probably will have sex. I said, get behind me, Satan, you dirty people. What are you talking about? It's a holy God. He will not even think that way. He, we are his children, for crying out loud. And here he got this Chinese girl <laughs> coming on to me on a, from a dating site from some time ago. And then she first looked very sweet and very pretty. I was thinking, oh, maybe I'm a, it's my lucky day or something. No, 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 no. I don't know what she came there for. I don't know what she was doing. But in the end, she was like offering me from $100,000 to a million. Listen, a million dollars. Now, I would have liked to have taken that as proof, you know, like take a picture of uh, the chat so I can show you. But you just have to trust me. I didn't want to do that because of, uh, uh, yeah, 
you know, respect and security reasons, and also because of our of our foul language, obviously together. I couldn't hold myself, brothers and sisters. So please pray for me that I be forgiven for that. You know, I know as a man of God, I should be more kind and humble and talk nicely. But as soon as somebody starts saying things like that about our Father in heaven, you know, I started with my uh, with my bad words <laughs> against it. You know, and uh, she was using very bad words anyway. So it was no time to just stay holy. I mean, you know, I had to give her back her own medicine so i rebuked her in the name of satan i put psalms 91 on the chat and i said get behind me satan you know yeah i wouldn't take a million dollars i mean it was like devil like 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 testing me or something what else was it i mean how can a human being a girl pretty look like a model 32 years old from china you know quite rich has her own expensive posh handbag uh, business she was going on about and looking down upon me because i don't have a job and don't get much pay and she was like, you know, telling me that, you know, if I send you this million, imagine how much food you can eat. You don't have to live in poverty. And, you know, exactly like pay, Satan would say. And that you don't even need to answer a boss or anything like that. Wouldn't that be nice? All I want to see is you renounce your God and give him up. Did you hear that? And I said, no way. I ain't going to renounce my God for nothing. Give me all the money and all the girl, gold and silver and diamonds of the world and I won't renounce my God. Get thee behind me, Satan. I put Psalms 91 uh, on the chat and I said in Jesus' name, mighty name. So I thought this was very, very strange. I've never ever heard anything like it. I've never been through anything like it, but I lost a friend about a, about a few months ago, about a year ago. I've for, forgiven him. I've told him off. But he also said, like, Jesus, when he is only a man, you know, I've read the Bible three times. Don't tell me nothing about the Bible until you, you've read it front to back three times. I said, my friend, my dear friend, my beloved friend, you've read it three times. I'm talking about someone else now. I'm talking about a friend of mine. His name is Michael, even. You know, he even sometimes tells me, oh, maybe I'm your friend and my name is Michael. Maybe that's an angel's name. Maybe God sent me. I said, well, what a minute, wait a minute. God sent, God sent you to me because your name is Michael? My friend, you know, you say you read the Bible three times, but I don't see your heart has changed. I don't see the truth in you. You know, you have no fruits, nothing. You just say that you've read the Bible three times and he entertains entertains Jehovah's Witness once once a week. And one day, and I told him about that, that's not good. Oh, well, I do what I like. You, I practice my religion as I want. I still believe in Jesus and all that. I said, well, yeah, good then. But uh, anyway, I warned him about Jehovah's Witness. And then he said to me one day that, you know, maybe Jesus is a man. And of course, you know, every man, you know, Gets, gets a movement down there in his pants, like he was saying to me, excuse me, it's the best way I can say. So I said, what are you trying to say? Well, Jesus was a man. You're not telling me that he didn't fancy or have something with, with Magdalene. I said, what? You, disgusting thought, you know. Do you know who Jesus is? He's not just a normal man or a prophet or something. He's God come in the flesh. Amen, hallelujah. You know, don't even have such thoughts. So we became into a big argument because of that, you know. Um, and because shortly after that, because of these, these things of my channel and, you know, I'm knowledgeable about God. And even though I say I haven't read the Bible front to back yet completely. And he says he's read it twice completely and he's reading it for the third time now. Well, how many times are you going to read it and no more than somebody who hasn't read it, read, read, read it? How come somebody who hasn't read it and declares and says honestly that he hasn't read it all knows so much? And you that's read it so many times doesn't know, his heart hasn't even changed and he doesn't know nothing. Asking me silly questions like, oh, Jesus probably had, uh, you know, something with Magdalene. You've got to be joking with me, right? Get thee behind me, Satan, you horrible people, thoughts, disgusting. Here's our Savior coming, giving his precious blood and dying on the cross from the Calvary because of our sins. You know, our Creator, our Father come in the flesh and you say that you have such thoughts that you think that, you know, he maybe had sex with Magdalene, he's only a man. And that's a person who declares he's reading the Bible the third time. you got to be joking with me, right? And then what is this, this Chinese girl, you know, getting in touch with me, saying to me, I'll give you $100,000 if you, oh, it's not enough? Okay, I'll give you a million, million dollars. Going once, going twice, going three times, you're going to take it or not? No, no, I'm not going to take it, I said. Oh, all right, then then I'll say goodbye, then have a nice life being poor. <laughs> you got to be joking with me, right? I mean, what is this? And I, I, I just wanted to share this with you, brothers and sisters. 
uh, excuse me about the prophetic messages and that I've had a lot uh, of um, things in my life right now I haven't I haven't got round to it God forgive me please pray for me to 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 get back into it and into my uh, full self I mean you know uh, we all sometimes backslide a little bit or have other things that that's irritate us in life that we have to take care of you know could it be health could it be money could it be whatever looking for jobs or whatever um, Please pray for me. I pray for you. I love you all. And we'll be doing some prophetic messages soon. I promise you. And heart filled rehmas as the Father puts in my heart. You know, right now I've had so much to do and I feel the shame and the, uh, the, ne the neglect because I haven't done so much. But anyway, with this video, I wanted just to show you what, what's happened. And I'd be very happy if you give me some feedback of what you think, what the hell this was, you know, about this Chinese girl calling me up and saying, I'll give you a million dollars if you renounce God. And I asked her, why would you do that? She said, because I can, because I have the money to. And I would rather use my money to see somebody leave God. I said, why would you say that? Why would you want that? Just because I have the money and I want to see you happy and I'm trying to help you not be a poor man. So I'll give you a million dollars if you give up God. And you obviously know what I said to that. With that, I send you my blessings, brothers and sisters. Please get back to me and let me know what you think. And your prayers is much needed. I don't know if this is Satan attacking me. or I, I even asked her. I said, listen, either you're Satan, sent by Satan, or you're some kind of an angel trying to test me, in which case God forgive me for calling you uh, coming from Satan. Because, you know, it's good. God can send people to test your faith. So, I mean, you know, so I don't know. I said, you, you must be satanic or something asking me to leave God and you give me a million dollars. Are you totally for real? Or are you just joking? No, 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 I'm real. I'll send you the money right now. Just give me your bank account number. And I said, sorry, ain't happening. But I did ask her, why would you do that? I said, in the end, if you give me that money, you know what I'll use it for? I'll use it to feed the poor and open up a church. I will take none of it myself. Amen, hallelujah. This is my heart. Amen. And I mean it. So anyway, brothers and sisters, you come back to me uh, and, and let me know. I'd like to have some feedback on this. All right? and your prayers. God bless and take care. See you up there. Amen.